How do you address mitochondrial health in your day to day? In this video, I wanna break down how I've been using cold therapy and red light therapy to help my mitochondrial health to feel great and to relax every single day. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. So let's dive into it. Recently, I built a cold tub bath in my house that is currently sitting in one of our rooms and we keep it around 39 degrees. Now, recently I've been really focused on increasing mitochondrial health in order to not only feel great, but have the energy that I need to show up as the best version of myself that I can be. And one of those ways is by doing rounds of red light and cold therapy almost every single day. So one of the things to note, we have a freezer chest. It's something that we use every single day in order to reap the benefits of cold therapy and we do have a full body red light both of those links will be below but you do not need that much to uh, get started with this so every day i've been doing about three to seven minutes of cold therapy which is simply sitting in a bath controlling my breathing relaxing as much as i can into those ice baths and letting my body and mind go through the processes that it needs to to figure out what is currently going on now one of the things you'll notice whether it's a cold shower whether it is a cold bath bath or anything cold is that you immediately get the flinch of not wanting to do this. Get over that. Jump into it. Do it immediately. Wim Hof. Do something that is going to get you into the mindset that you can beat the flinch because this will carry over into almost every and anything that scares you throughout your life. So I start with three to seven minutes of cold therapy in the freezer chest. Then I dive into a 10 to 20 minute red light session front and back. And red and infrared light has been shown in countless studies to help with mitochondrial health, to put you in a relaxed state, to put you in a pro metabolic state because the ice bath is very stressing for the period that you will be in it and adrenaline starts to go off the charts, no epinephrine, all of those different neurotransmitters, I like to end it with 20 minutes of red light to allow the cells to kind of calm down, but also to increase their ability to produce ATP and to keep that relaxed, high energy state that we should all be functioning in. So this way I'm getting the benefits of cold therapy with a bit of relaxation and the benefits of red light directly after, allowing me not to feel like I am jittery or on any sort of like adrenaline kick post cold therapy, but instead that I can simply flow into the rest of my day with an incredible mindset and all the benefits that come from both cold and red light therapy. So that is something that I've been doing every day and it's something that I definitely recommend that you check out. Start easy, start with a cold shower and maybe just a few overhead bulbs at a red light and then slowly over time, you can move in and buy the things that I have linked below. Are you currently doing any cold therapy or red light therapy? I really would love to hear below what you've been using, how you've been doing it. Otherwise, make sure to press that subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.